ADD in adults is a very big component of what we do, but it's unrecognized and I think that they are only starting to get some sort of understanding that ADD exists in adults. We always used to think that it was an adolescent or a child illness for want of a better word and what happens is that the profile of this changes over time and as you become an adult you immediately don't get over it but a hyperactive child then just becomes attention deficit and this impacts on their lives they have poor interpersonal relationships often battle to to operate socially they do well at work they don't they don't achieve as they should they're in jobs that are below their potential they are poor from an organizational point of view their time management isn't very good they tend to jump jobs quite frequently have problems with their bosses and they find it very frustrating. Um, they have problems in meetings, in the situations where they are unable to, to really contribute within a meeting environment and so they, they really don't progress as they should do. Um, they too have emotional problems, very often depressed, anxious, tick disorders can result as, as a result of what we're talking about within the cerebellum. And for all of those reasons, adults find it particularly difficult to achieve, particularly in the workplace, but at home as well. As a result of the program, we will have permanent change affected. Um, what we're doing is we're stimulating neuro neurodevelopment here. We are laying down new pathways within the brain. And as a result of that, the kid or the adult is then able to use those pathways as a, as a foundation for where they go in the future. So, so not only are the results permanent, but they can continue to build on those and to see changes o over the next little while. This program is suitable from children all the way up, up through to adults. The oldest person on the program was a, was a little old lady in the United Kingdom, 83 years old, and we can only accept people from the age of seven. So, so th there's, there's a wide range there. If, if you do feel that you're suffering from these sorts of symptoms, and classically the labels that you would identify with are ADD, ADHD, dyslexia or dyspraxia, which is a, a, a coordination problem, then the best place to go is, is to the website. We've got online tests. From those online tests, we will then contact you and you'll then begin a screening process. What essentially happens is, is that you will fill out a comprehensive screening questionnaire which determines whether you're suitable for the program. Once that's happened, you'll get booked into the centre. We do a very, a very comprehensive medical history questionnaire and then you get booked for your assessment and you'll go through this whole process.